the sky. The sky is just stunning this morning. We thought the snow might have melted, but it's still so thick. <laughs> My hands are numb, but I'm feeling very grateful right now. Hello, it's Ruby and today I'm going to be showing you a snow day study with me. So I started off by doing some critical readings for my Victoria module. Okay, I've just finished doing some extra critical reading for the Victoria module. Uh, Blakeney and I separate the reading between us. You can see here, these are all of the recommended secondary readings which are put on Ellie. So, um, I've done this one and Blakeney's done this one. I started this one but it didn't actually end up being or seeming that relevant and it was quite hard to follow. Then here I was doing some extra context research and specifically I was looking into the diary form in the Victorian period and the fact that in the 1830s to 1850s you had a you had a massive trend in publishing diaries and people keeping diaries which largely followed the publication of Pepys's diary in 1825. This was so interesting to learn about. Then I decided to go out on my daily walk, which I was very, very excited for considering the snow. But I had to change into a thicker jumper because that cardigan was not going to keep me warm. Oh, and ski socks. It feels like I'm in Narnia, but in the part where the Snow Queen's kingdom is starting to thaw and melt because there is snow melting on the treetops as we speak and it's just falling straight down and it's so cool. It is a shame that we literally got the snowstorm yesterday and it's already melting, but I'm so, so grateful that it's actually lasted till today because we thought it was going to thaw overnight. So very, very lucky. And we got some really good snow, like it's deep enough for me to be wearing my snow boots. I 
I got back from my walk and I have had lunch and now I'm just going to quickly read that set reading um, that I told you about. And then at two I'm calling Blakeney. Both of us like to talk through the stuff that we um, are doing that week in the Victorian module just to kind of exchange ideas. I think discussion is one of the best forms of education in my opinion. I always find that I understand the material a lot more when I talk about it. <laughs> wearing a collar so we don't know where he's come from we've locked him in our garden so he can't get out onto the road but very very strange i know that you are having a hard time right now And then I video called Blakeney. We ended up calling for about two and a half hours and it was really great to catch up, but also to talk about books, um, especially Victorian books. I mean, what could be better? So we were discussing Anne Bronte's The Tenant of Wildfell Hall, which we both loved and would recommend. Put your trust into us and we will help you through Cause we only want what's best What's best for you? 10 to 5 and I've just finished my call with Blakeney. We basically just fed back on the critical reading and then raised thematic points that we wanted to discuss. I love these discussions so much, they're so much fun and it's still kind of light so I'm gonna go outside in the snow for a little bit because it will probably be built melted by tomorrow which is so sad. Yes also I'm sorry that the time lapse finished quite soon into the video. My phone ran out of charge and I was time lapsing on here. Oh yeah we figured out whose dog it was as well. It was a neighbour's. I know that you are having trouble believing right now That everything is gonna be, is gonna be alright This coat is definitely not waterproof and I am very cold I must say But it's so nice when I got back inside, I read some of On Earth We Are Briefly Gorgeous. I'm not lying when I say this is in the top five books I've ever read. I don't have words to describe how tremendously lyrical this book is. It articulates not just moments, but feelings, overlaps and interweaves memory and time and somehow transcends everything at the same time. He captures the child voice so, so well in the observation of tiny details, but this child voice is retained through the adult narrative too, and and he pieces together objects and moments and things in really unique ways that basically help to make better sense of the world. Oh, and then after that, I did some more critical reading. Um, just to say that um, for the last 30 minutes I haven't done anything productive, I was just watching some YouTube. Uh, dinner's very very soon, like it's any minute, but I'm going to quickly type up those notes that I took on my iPad. Okay. Lift me up higher, above the clouds, won't you love? When the scenery is right, go right in. I want to fall deep within But don't leave me hanging Just cause I'm too proud Whisper away My outdated doubts Somebody do me the courtesy Dress me down Good morning, um, it's actually quite late, it's like 20 past 10. This morning I've been watching lectures, I've so far watched an hour worth of the lectures and I've got half an hour left. I also had a call about YouTube content with uh, my management which was really useful. There are a few follow up things from that which I'm just going to quickly get done just until half 10 and 
then I'm going to finish the lectures and maybe do a little bit more context research. It's so interesting, oh my gosh. Having a good understanding of uh, context is so, so valuable with the novels on this module, mainly because much Victorian literature was responding directly to change. They were social reform novels and so to be aware of the context and why and what was happening is so necessary and also like the uh, novels are so so situated in this period in social change like being aware of what this novel did and how it potentially actually had like a really tangible impact on life and livelihood and this week's topic is so 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 interesting because we're looking at first wave feminism in the context of Anne Bronte and it's so good Oh, then here I was typing up notes. Um, I'd taken some notes from this book and I just wanted to transfer them into my Victorian module notes, but um, I hadn't taken as many notes as I wanted. And so I went back through the book and reread the chapters that were relevant. And then I watched some romantic poetry lectures, which had been set for us for the Victorian module. And I actually painted my nails at the same time as watching these because it was more to give us a background knowledge on the Romantic Poets and I ended up not taking that many notes. But yeah, I finished watching the lectures and then we were also asked to watch a series of lectures on the Romantic Poets. So I watched those as well, that was 40 minutes and I... <laughs> That's weird. Who's calling me? Um, it's an unknown number. I've just said, hello, who is this? Anyway, I'm going to uh, just write up a summary of On Heroes, Hero Worship and the Heroic in History by Thomas Carlyle. It was a seminal text, so it'd be good to be familiar with it. I haven't actually read it. I'm just going to be reading some summaries online. Um, I do want to read it eventually, but I think I don't really have the time to do that today. And I want to be familiar with the arguments he poses. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Just a couple of minutes. Great. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Okay, this is exciting and I'm going to do a quick unboxing because I'm so excited about this. I hadn't bought new clothes for quite a long time and when I say quite a long time I mean since July I bought one thing, which isn't that much I don't think, but I really wanted to get a few pieces of handmade linen clothing and so I ordered three all at once and um, all of them are like made to order, um, independent sellers on Etsy, really good quality, like I've really one of the things so far and I love it. I think this is the second one by Niche Linen. This is the one I've been most excited about, I believe. Oh my gosh. So this is a Ukrainian brand because of... Oh my gosh, look. I love this dress. No regrets in buying this at all. This is what it looks like. I love the length as well. It's like the perfect length and the bow is so pretty. This might just be my new favourite dress. I would re really recommend checking out this shop. Very impressed by the quality. What you have to put your trust into us and we will help you through because we only want what's best. What's best for you? Okay, just finished um, a one and a half hour call with my study group for the Victoria module and now I'm attending a Holocaust memorial service, so I'm going to do that. Bye. I listened to two Holocaust survivor testimonies back to back. Holocaust Memorial Day is today as you're watching this, it's on Wednesday the 27th and this week there have been so many events to commemorate the victims of the Holocaust. I'd really recommend trying to attend one of them because Holocaust remembrance is always important and at the moment more than ever really. I listened to John Dubai's testimony and the other one was by Joan Salter. So I did that in the evening and then after doing that I edited this video so at the moment I'm recording the voiceover and after finishing editing this I think I'm probably just going to read some of Sense and Sensibility so thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you have a productive week.